Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Node Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate Active Directory with our checkpoint firewall. So guys, before we begin, just let me show you what we have done till now. We have, I have configured an Active Directory over here. So in, if in case you don't have a knowledge how to configure Active Directory, I will be adding a link in the description how to configure Active Directory and configuration of the domain controller. You can refer that and then you can continue with this tutorial. So just coming to our network design over here, you will see that this is our network design where we have connected our Active Directory server to VM Network 1 and VM Network 1 is connected to Ethernet 0 of the firewall gateway. And the IP address which we have assigned to the Active Directory server is 10.1.1.50. Taking you to the Active Directory, let me show you something over here. The very first thing I will be showing you the network adapter connectivity. As you can see, the Active Directory network adapter is connected to VMNet 1 as per our network design. And opening the command prompt. I will show you the IP address of the Active Directory which is 10.1.1.50 and the default gateway is the interface IP of Ethernet 0 interface IP of the firewall subnet master slash 24. Now let's begin with our configuration. So guys basically there are two steps to integrate the active directory with the checkpoint firewall but before that i would like to show you some settings over here go to menu over here and then to the global properties click on user directory in the earlier version you can say like uh, till r77.30 there was an option to enable some services over here but now they have removed those option from here but you have some interesting option over here which you can see you can define the password strength the password strength they have given the several parameters over here then you can define the timeout on cache user what can be the cache size and so on but just remember that whatever password strength you are configuring over here should match with your active directory configuration so beginning with the configuration uh, the very first thing which you are going to do is you will click on the users and entities right click over here and the very first thing is to create ldap account unit Click over here on LDAP account unit. You can give any name whatever you want. I will be giving AD account unit and there should not be a space when you are giving the name. Leaving all the options as default, you will move to the server tab. Over here you have to add the LDAP server. You will click on add to add your active directory server over here host you can drag down from here and you can select ad server just note that in our previous tutorial we have added one host object that was ad server and the ip address was 10.1.1.50 the same is the one which we have chosen over here okay it's simply what i have done i'm going to network object over here i have created one host object that was 10.1.1.50 and from here i have selected that created host object port will be 389 the username i will be giving the username to be administrator over here i will be using the administrator account coming to login dn when we talk about login dn this details you will get from the active directory itself let's go to the active directory server over here and you will be opening the command prompt run this as administrator over here you have to give the command ds query space group space name and the group name which you want to fetch see in my case what i have done let me take you to the active directory users and group users and computers over here what i have done i have created all my users which ever user i have created i have created in user group so i will be fetching this particular group to my integration part and you will type users over here you will get the Detail this detail you have to copy to your login DN details. Let's copy it and paste it over here. Let's 
you have to remove this and this is what we have copied cn equal to user comma cn equal to build in comma dc equal to new networks and dc equal to com once you are done with this it is asking you for the password you will be putting the administrator password for the active directory server confirm the password and then click ok before clicking ok there are two options over here you can see read data from this server write data to this server keep this options default and going to encryption if you have uh, encryption enable SSL, you have a ssl encryption you can use ssl encryption and of course the port will change from 389 to 636 but in our case we don't have any encryption so straight away we will be doing this configuration and we will click ok now move to object management you can see the server to connect is ad server and what you have to do is click on fetch branches it is fetching the branches now and once you get this detail this is a proof that till now whatever configuration you have done is perfect and the last comes the authentication tab over here what all authentication you want to allow you can define this see for now i am interested in checkpoint password but i am not interested for secure id radius or tech access we are not doing this kind of integration os password i require for some future uh, use when we will be doing some other tutorials so for now you will check this os password box as well then moving on you have a limit login failure where you can define the lock user account after how many failures like if the user try to attempt three login failure the account will be locked or you can just change it but just check this box and you can change this value and then after it says that once the account is locked let, let over here it is saying that after three failure attempt lock the account then the second line says that unlock the user account after so many seconds 180 seconds you can define that value as well if, if you wish you can keep this option or else simply proceed and click ok over here now till now what we have done is we have created an account unit now moving on we will be creating an LDAP group again going to user and identities right click over here now what we did we have created LDAP account unit right now we will create LDAP group click on LDAP group over here you have to give uh, the LDAP group name let's say we will give AD group you can give any name whatever you want and from here you have to create uh, select the account unit which we recently created we created AD account unit right that you have to select over here AD account unit group scope uh, whether uh, you want all account unit users or you only want the sub tree that you can define for now we will say all account units users and simply click on ok button over here and as usual finally you will be installing the policy publish and install Select the policy package which is lab policy and click on install button. Now the installation process has started. Once it is successful, we will proceed further. So guys as you can see our lab policy is successfully installed over here so guys this is how you will be integrating your active directory with the checkpoint firewall and the next tutorial which we are going to do is will be the continuation of this tutorial over there we will be enabling the identity awareness blade and what we are going to learn over there is browser based authentication client based authentication the users which we will be using for the browser based authentication or for client based authentication will be the ad users not only that thereafter we will be creating a local user account and we will try to authenticate through a local accounts as well so that's all guys for this tutorial if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.